everyone we are back for 2020 declutters i'm very excited we're starting fresh so we're starting at the very far left side of my entire vanity which has concealers and foundations and a few powders and bits and pieces so that's what we are decluttering today my next one will be powders and bronzers so if you enjoyed the video please give it a thumbs up i want to know if you guys still love watching these there's going to be a lot of fast forward sounds as always got my spray and wipe stuff so we can wipe down any dust that's collected in there and yeah i'm just really excited to get stuck in and you know do the job thank you guys for all the support over the years by the way i'm glad you guys love these videos in particular as well these ones always go so well so sit back relax and let's get decluttering all right you guys this year i'm gonna try and impress you all right i'm gonna try and cool down so much people always comment and say that they love my declutters because i'm not a little bitch you know and i actually get rid of heaps of stuff so I'm gonna stick to that this year but I want to get rid of even more I'm gonna try okay I've got a few favorite foundations a few favorite concealers so I'm gonna even get rid of some that I do like and give them to friends and family because all the stuff is used um, if there's anything new I'll donate it as always but yeah I'm just trying to like keep the stuff that I love because throughout the year of course we're gonna do lots of first impressions lots of unboxings lots of PR hauls lots of full faces and we're gonna try out so many new products that a lot of the stuff in here is just gonna go by unused and expire I'm gonna try and color it down to my absolute favorites to make way for the new stuff for 2020 and yeah that's kind of like my thing okay there's a foundation up here so you know we'll just chuck that down there um, so first of all I'm going to take out everything and then I am going to clean this out and yeah, start fresh. I'm just going to try and like it's really hard to film this drawer because I don't have much space to set up my camera. So I'm going to try and like fiddle around with this angle a little bit. I'm so sorry if it's not ideal. I'm doing my best here with the space I have. Also sorry if you can hear my stomach rumbling. I actually just ate but I've been sculling lots of water and my stomach's making all these weird noises so it's kind of embarrassing but... Whatever. All right. Fast forwarding commence. First off, I have some of my Fit Cover, which is this one here. This is my lighter color, Lift. I also use Embrace. I've talked about that in my yearly favorites and in heaps of other videos. Then I also have my Translucent Banana and Translucent Light to Medium by Milani. I'm keeping both of those. I really like this stuff. It's really nice to set under the eyes. It's actually very, very fine. Then I also have Summer Bisque, which is my holy grail. So it's obviously going to stay. I'm going to actually store it upside down so I can read the label. And then I have While It Rested, which I'm keeping. And then I've got Bisque, which I'm actually going to give to a friend that has slightly darker skin tone than me. Because I feel like it's better on like medium and deeper skin tones than Summer Bisque. Summer Bisque is a little bit more like yellow and brightening, whereas this one's a little bit more pinky. And I just feel like it would look better as a color corrector on like a little bit of a deeper skin tone um so I'll give that to my friend i also have this hourglass powder which i'm just going to put up on the top of my vanity i've got some loose powders up there that are just too big to be stored down here um so i'll probably go through those in my next video with my other like pressed powders and everything all right i've also got my brighton powder by kim kardashian west i've got shade two here i've got shade one at my beach house I actually really like it. And then I also have my e.l.f. Oh my gosh, stuff's rolling everywhere. Um, I've also got my e.l.f. one. So I might just give that to a friend too because I feel like drugstore-wise these days I kind of reach for the Milani a bit more than the e.l.f. one. I feel like I kind of need to organize all of my liquid concealers by brand because I've got multiple of the same brand. So I just need to like pick out my most used colors and then kind of get rid of a few lines as well. Okay, so, oh, there's another Born This Way. I'm going to get rid of this Born This Way concealer. This one's actually quite old, so I'll probably thin it. It's a bit too dark for me. Um, and then I've kept 
the Born This Flame Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer, which is like my favorite at the moment, or one of my favorites anyway. So I've kept Almond and Natural Beige. Natural Beige is better on my face. Almond's nice under my eyes, or if I've got no fake tan on, it's good like on my face as well. And then I have four shape tapes right here. I'm sure I've got even more than this lying around, but I've got light sand, light medium, light beige, and light. So I feel like I'm just going to keep light medium and light sand. I'm just going to choose a couple. I kind of just grab whichever shades and like just make it work for me because I am only using it for like under my eyes or a little bit on my face. So I can pretty much make whatever work. And I'll give those to friends. I'm going to keep, um, should I keep those or just one? I'm going to just keep number three of my Boing Cakeless Concealer. I love that stuff. It's so good. Um, I've got my Nabla Lips Concealers here. I really like this too. Um, the Close Up Stay Full Smooth Concealer, and I've got a light color and a face color. So I'm going to keep both, by the way. Those are shades Ivory and Cream Beige. I'll probably get rid of my Iconic London. I quite liked it, but I don't know. I'm just going to keep my, like, Holy Grails, like I said. I'm going to get rid of my Jeffree Star ones. To be honest, like, the shades are pretty much too light for me anyway. But, um, yeah, it's just not, like, a super fave. And then I have some MAC... Studio Fix 24 Hour Smooth Wear Concealer. I really like this. So I'm going to go with NC20 and NC15. And then I'll get rid of the other ones. I've got some um, No Filter Concealers here by Colourpop. And I'm going to definitely keep a couple. They need a good mix-up. They've just been lying around. I haven't used these in a while, but I really like them. So, which one should I get? I feel like I've got a lot of use out of each of these shades. So maybe I should just keep all three maybe or should I just keep the darker and the lighter one I think I'm actually gonna keep light 16 and medium 30 so I've got a couple of options there and then I'm gonna get rid of fair five which is a bit lighter but this one's light enough all right so there's all the ones I've definitely chosen and then I've got heaps of more stragglers is that the word straggler straggler I don't know um so let's just pop them all down actually Obviously, I'm going to keep my vanilla. I love that stuff. And I'm going to keep my Color Crypto by Pixie. I've been enjoying that. This is um, sealed. No, maybe I did use it. No, I did use it. Okay. But I'm going to give that to a friend. I did really like it. It was really, really, really brightening. Good one for brightening. But I've got too many. So hold on one second. I'll just pull them all out. All right, so I've got some Huda Beauty ones here. Let me just choose a couple of shades of this. I actually do really like it. It's super full coverage. So which ones? I'm gonna take Cotton Candy that's a bit paler. And then maybe I'll do, ooh, maybe Graham Cracker. I'm just guessing here. I can mix them together anyway. That's kind of like what I do with those. If I'm going for like a concealer to cover up any redness on my cheeks or whatever, if a color's too dark, I'll just mix it with the lighter one. And then I always have like a lighter one for under my eyes as well. And then like I say, you just get to mix them and personalize the color so that's perfect. I'm gonna get rid of a bunch of these. There's a random <laughs> lipstick in here. Um, yeah, I don't know. Do I have two NC20s by MAC? I do, okay. So I feel like I didn't really get rid of tons and tons, but the ones I've kept here, I've kept a few drugstore ones. So I've kept my CoverGirl ones, I've kept my Revolution Conceal and Define, and I've also kept my Retouch Inneries by Milani, just because I really want a few drugstore options if I'm doing drugstore tutorials or just to like switch up, you know, my videos for those of you who are on more of a budget or want like recommendations on you know, more affordable brands. So yeah, those are all really good. So I'm happy with those. And then I've also kept my NARS, what is this called again? Radiant Creamy Concealer. This used to be a Holy Grail. Um, and I don't know where my custard of my other NARS one is, but I've got that somewhere. It's probably in one of my makeup bags. And then I've also kept this MAC Lightful Spot Concealer and it's got SPF in it. So just for if I have breakouts, like this is a good one to go for. So that's that drawer pretty much sorted. But then I also have these little sample sizes of my MAC, I mean MAC what? My NARS foundation. So I'm going to just find the ones that I actually need, which are Doval, Punjab. And I think that's it actually. Those are like my most used ones. And if you're wondering what I'm gonna use these for, it's just 
you know, if I'm traveling somewhere overnight or whatever, they're just like quite handy just to take with you. And like I got these as a press thing. I can refill them too, so it's quite handy. Um, but yeah, they just came as a PR package, which was so cool. They sent like a bunch of these rather than sending everyone like 30 full size foundations, which for me, I just donate them so it doesn't go to waste, but at the same time, it is very wasteful because obviously we're not going to use all of those by ourselves, so I liked that. But yeah, that's that drawer culled down. And if you're interested, this is everything I am giving to friends and family. So yeah, that'll all find a nice home, hopefully. All right, once again, this is like so difficult to get like everything in frame, but I am doing my absolute best. Oh my God. My tripod's like gonna snap in half shortly. All right, I'm fairly sure you can see pretty much everything in here. Can I bring it closer? No. Whew. Okay, so this is my foundation drawer, and if you watched my yearly favorites, you would have seen me say that pretty much I've been using my Fit Cover, which I showed you above, my It Cosmetics CC Cream. Love this. And my NARS Natural Radiance Foundation. And of course, there are others I dabble with, but those three are like. I could literally get rid of every single other foundation and not give a toss pretty much at this point. So I'm not going to do that, but I am going to try and like at least halve this and really cut back and once again make way for new stuff and try new stuff. So let's do this. I'm going to take everything out, clean it out and pop it back in. So let's do that. Divider. And once again, just in case you haven't seen my original makeup collection video, all of this was custom made for me. There are different solutions these days. Um, you can buy like acrylic dividers like this off Amazon and places like that. But mine are custom made um, and the drawers are also custom made, all of these, and they're really good quality. Basically, I went to someone that does like kitchens and things, and so they're like super heavy duty because obviously a lot of makeup goes into them. It's very heavy. Um, so like Ikea drawers and stuff like that just break. So for me, it's just not worth it. I prefer to invest in something good quality that will last me for ages. Um, so yeah, that's what I've done here, but... Obviously, you can definitely create makeup storage on more of a budget. Definitely check out Amazon for stuff like this um, or your local like plastic and acrylic stores. So first off, I'm going to take my favorite foundations, which are the NARS Natural Radiance. I'm going to put them at the back here. So I use Punjab, Mont Blanc. Um, where are the others? Oh, it's sitting right in front of me. It doesn't have a lid on it, so I didn't recognize it. This is Pentag... Oh, wait, not Pan. Patagonia. Um, and I'm sure I have one more somewhere and you can probably see by looking at them I do definitely use all of them. I've got Dogal somewhere like that's my most used though Punjab I've got like a third left um, But yeah, I've got another one. It must be in one of my makeup bags somewhere or else we might find it soon up here somewhere But anyway regardless, I also have my Anastasia luminous foundation, which I love so I'm gonna put that here um, I find that quite comparable. I really like it. All right, what else? We've got some stuff in here that's kind of like a year old or more. So like my Wet n Wild Photo Focus, I raved about this a couple years ago. I feel like I should probably make way for other stuff now. So I might get rid of them. My Pro Coverage. These are like so, so old. I kind of love them, but I don't really use them anymore. And I'm pretty sure it's discontinued. It's the, what is it even called? I think it's called like Fusion Ink. But I've got it like written in French here, but this was like my holy grail like two plus years ago So I should probably like throw it out by now Like it's so old and you can't even get it anymore So it's pretty useless for me to show you guys and to be honest, I always reach for other stuff So that's a shame. It is such a good foundation, but yeah, I don't think you can get it anymore I need to look into it. I've got the Nabla close-up. This was definitely a huge fave 
last year, at the very end of last year. I've got Vitalumia Aqua. I think I'm just gonna um, give that to friends because I don't really use it very often anymore and I feel like this is a really good, I think it's this one that I think is a really good trick for it. I need to reuse it to refresh my memory. I try so many things and I start like getting all my thoughts confused. Got my Huda Beauty in Cashew. Do I want to keep this? I feel like I don't right now because I've just got so many others I want. We've got Nas Sheer Glow, which used to be such a huge fave, but I probably use them more so. But it's just be cutthroat. This used to be my holy grail, and I'll probably get rid of this too because I just don't really like this foundation here is so heavy, it's like a full coverage, and I just feel like I don't need that right now in my life. Like I just use these kind of foundations to get full coverage and I don't love like the complete like perfect look anymore, you know? Like I, I like a full coverage but not like that full coverage. I don't know if that makes sense. But for my full coverage foundation I might just keep one of my Tarte Amazonian Clay foundations. For some reason we've got like three here. They must be like different colours. Light neutral, light medium Sam, light medium neutral. Oh gosh, I don't even know what colour to keep. I think I usually use light medium sand. I'm just gonna like do a quick swatch -a on my fingers or on my hand. Sorry if I sound like really talkative right now. Look, that one's brand new, so I'll donate that one. And then the other one I have here, light neutral. Yeah, I'm really talkative right now because I've got a lot of energy. I'm not gonna lie. Actually, I'm gonna keep both of those because one of them's quite a bit darker. And I can just slip them into one slot, hopefully. No, I can't, but oh well, we'll just roll with it. Obviously, we're keeping all of the um, CC cream by It Cosmetics. This is like my holy grail. Just in case you're wondering, I use shade medium if I'm like literally freshly fake tan. It's dark. Like I feel like the colors run quite dark compared to other brands like in the same kind of shade name. I use Fair um, when I am non-fake tanned. And I'm not super pale when I'm not fake tanned. And then if I'm fake tanned, I use the shade Light. It's not very light. Like it's not super super dark but you know. I've got the Healthy Elixir Finish my cover girl which I might keep so I'm going to keep using. I have my Benefit Hello Happy foundation in shade 2 and 4 which I might keep for now. Um, I have my foundation time. What did I think of this? I did a first impression. I can't remember. I'm going to get rid of it. More Wet n Wild. I'm going to get rid of my Clinic Fit even though I really really liked that. Actually should I? No nah, I might keep it for now. I want to use it some more. Um, I'm gonna keep this because even though it's old AF, this is like my darkest foundation I own and every now and then, you know sometimes when you just fake tan and you have one of those freak fake tans and it makes you like way darker than normal for some reason, like your skin just develops darker than normal for some reason, that's when I need this because pretty much nothing else matches me in those circumstances. I have a couple of the Clinique Beyond Perfecting foundation. I'm just gonna keep the darker one because the lighter one's a bit too pink for me. I usually like mix them together but I just don't feel like I need that many options. By the way, this is a travel size if you're wondering why it's smaller. Oh my god, I need to shut up. I'm talking too much. Got the Givenchy Fluid Foundation with Sunscreen Photo Perfection. I feel like I want to experiment with that some more, so I'll keep it for now. I'm going to get rid of these CoverGirl foundations because I'm going to keep a couple of my active instead. So this was the Matte Made, which I did like, but I've been loving the Outlast Active lately. And if you want to see all of these foundations, um, sorry that sounds like it's dropping from a high distance but it's really not, it's just rolling around. If you want to see any of these foundations in action, just search them on my channel because you should be able to find me using them on like a video. I have three different shades here, so I'm probably just going to take maybe Buff Beige and Classic Ivory. And I'm going to get rid of Soft Honey because it's a little bit darker, I feel like these two I use more often. I'm going to get rid of my Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Foundation because I just didn't really love it, you know? Like I didn't hate it, but I didn't love it. This is the hydrating one. I did a first impression on it. I'm going to get rid of my Pro Matte that I used to love. I really, really like this, but I feel like I'll just get rid of it now because I've kept that Benefit Foundation and I've kept this, which is lighter. Yeah, I'm just trying to be more cut through. I used to love this too and I think I'm going to get rid of that. So these are all going to get given to a friend, family. I feel like there's going to be a lot for them to choose from at this rate. Holy moly. Um, I've got the Studio Skin Foundation by Smashbox. I love this and I really need to try their other new foundation that's coming out or has come out already or came out a while ago. I don't know. People always request me to try it and I haven't tried any new Smashbox in a while but this foundation's magic. It literally lasts 
forever until you take it off like flawless like one time I accidentally went to sleep with my makeup on and I woke up the next day and it was literally like the exact same <laughs> like my foundation hadn't changed um I've also got the concealer define by makeup revolution I really like this it's a good dupe for the um Clinique one so I'm just gonna look at the colors that's f4 and then this one here is f5 I'm gonna keep f5 you can see it's a little bit sorry that's out of frame F5 is a little bit more my kind of undertone, whereas that other one's quite pink, which on my face won't translate well. I might keep these to play with some more. This is the um, 24 hour full coverage Superstay foundation. And while you're watching this, guys, please hit me up. If I'm keeping anything that's like discontinued, please tell me so I know to get rid of it or not use it in videos. Cause sometimes I feel like stuff is still in stores and then I like use it in a video and people are like, we can't even get that. And I'm like, shit, like, I can't keep up. Brands always discontinue stuff with like no warning. It's frustrating. I don't know what they're up to. I've got my light beige Born This Way, which I think I'll still keep because I still get a lot of use out of that. I've got my Pat McGrath Labs Skin Fetish, which I've been enjoying using, um, especially mixed with foundations. I did a full first impression on this because it's very, very, very pricey. And I was kind of like underwhelmed, but the more I use it, and mix it with other foundations or use it with like different techniques. I do still like it, but I don't necessarily think it's worth the money, but I'm kind of stubborn and just want to like use it up because otherwise I've spent that much money on something that I'm going to like get rid of. Like, you know what I mean? So I'm just trying to get rid of it and like make it worth the money for me. How do I fit this in here? I'm going to get rid of these and this. Mm, should I keep both of these shades? Let me just swatch them. So this is the Infallible by L'Oreal. Really good foundation. This one is in the shade Radiant Beige, which I like the look of that. And then the other one I have is in the shade Vanilla, which is like a paler color, which also kind of looks nice. Ugh, stuff it, let's just keep both. I feel like we've definitely cut down a lot, okay? I'm gonna get rid of this. I just don't think I'll ever use it. It's like a super full coverage pasty kind of foundation. I got given it ages ago and I've never even reached for it or wanted to try it. So I think I'm just going to get rid of it. This I love. This is the Touche Eclat All-in-One Glow Foundation in the shade B20. And I bought that because my friend Anna Lee loves it. And it is very nice. So yeah. I think it's got S... Does it have SPF in it? I can't really remember. Maybe not. I don't know. But it's really nice for like a natural but flawless look. I've got the Traceless Foundation by Tom Ford which I think I'll get rid of even though I really liked it. I just don't really reach for it. I'm gonna get rid of it this one because I kept these other Maybelline foundations. So I think I'm gonna keep these um, by Natasha Denona. Transfer Matte Pore Vanishing Matte Foundation. I actually really like it. And I'm gonna keep the Milk Makeup. I wanna experiment with that one some more. I'm gonna get rid of this. I'm gonna get rid of this. I'm gonna get rid of this. Actually, no, I'm not because I don't think I've tried. No, I haven't. I'm gonna put this. In the side here is something to give a go. I have some NARS Tinted Moisturizer, which I might keep for now. I'm tempted to get rid of it because I don't reach for it, but I do want to try it some more because I often reach for stuff like that when um, I'm just having like a, you know, weekend day where I just want something on my face, but I'm not doing anything too full glam. Um, I'm going to get rid of the Laura Mercier foundation. This was like one of my favorites in like 2013, 2014 or something like that. No, it must be in 2014, 2015. But uh, I just don't reach for it anymore. On with the new stuff, you know. I'm going to keep this Ulta 3 Lightning Drops. It comes in very handy. I'm going to get rid of my Candid. I don't hate it. Don't absolutely love it either though. And I'm going to get rid of my Revolution Stick Foundation because I don't really use stick foundations much at all. But I do really like that too. And I've also got Darkening Drops which I'm going to get rid of because I honestly never need them. And then the final things I have here. I've got a cushion foundation which looks like this by MAC Cosmetics in the limited edition little packaging which I think I'll keep. Once again it's just really good to whip on when I'm just having a weekend whatever. And then I've got this unisex healthy glow all year hydrating summer tint moisturizer which I think I'll chuck in there too um, just as like an everyday product. Oh there's one more. Touche Clite Lip Cushion by YSL. I can't even remember what I think of this. This is the problem. I've got so many friggin' how do I open it? Products that I just forget. I'm gonna keep that for now too. Can you see me? Hello. But that's still such a huge 
cut down. Now, how should I actually, oh wait, I've got two more over here, duh. So I've got my other Born This Way concealer in Swan. This is my palest one. So if I'm like super, super pale, I use that. And then here's Doval. So there you go. And then I've got this Medicube. Am I keeping this? I might get rid of this. I feel like that's real old. So this makes me more excited to be more diverse in my foundations again. I have really stuck to the same foundations for ages, especially this one. So I'm hoping that, yeah, this will help me, you know, be inspired to reach for others that I don't use so much. So <clears throat> I'm going to, how am I going to organize this? I don't know. Let's put those two next to each other because they're kind of like dupes for each other. The Clinique and the Makeup Revolution. I don't really know. I'm going to put that there because it kind of looks like that one. Might put my YSL one next to the other YSL one, Anastasia Bibbly Hills. I don't even know. I'm just going to make it look somewhat pretty. I'm going to put this in the box here because I need to try it. Um, and should I put this in one of these to make it like look nicer maybe okay i'm gonna get rid of one more to make room what am i gonna get rid of you know what i might get rid of one of these shades because i can just go with something else that doesn't match i'm gonna put that in there i'm pretty happy with how this is looking i wish i had the lid for this that annoys me how i'm like missing the lid i am missing the lid i can't even talk move these forward so now yeah i've got my it kismet cc cream transfer matte by natasha denona I've got my full coverage foundation Superstay Maybelline, my Clinique workout makeup with SPF 40, good for if I do want makeup when I'm working out or just for like a hot day where I want something light. I've got my Nabla close up foundation, which I'm pretty sure I have another one of these, like another color, but whatever. My Pat McGrath, my Smashbox, Too Faced Born This Way, um, Givenchy Photo Perfection, my Benefit my Makeup Revolution, my Clinique. This is a Velvet Matte Foundation Stick by NARS. I need to check it's not discontinued and use it in like a first impression. I've got also some new foundations, by the way, in my new drawer. Like I've got the new Urban Decay Foundation that I wanna do a full, I mean, no, just a normal first impression, like wear test foundation video and some others like by ColourPop and stuff. So you'll see them coming in the next few weeks. I've also got the Infallible 24 Hour Matte, my Milk Makeup Blur Liquid, Touche Clat All in One Foundation, Outlast Active by CoverGirl, Vitalist Healthy Elixir by CoverGirl. Then this to try, this is a Tony Moly Blur BB Cream with SPF 37. Um, I've got the Tarte Amazonian Clay full coverage foundation if I do want something fuller coverage and glam. I've got the Illuminous foundation by Anastasia. This is my mixer for when I'm super fake tanned. The Touche Eclat um, Le Tint. It's got sunscreen in it and it's like super luminizing. I love it. This is in the shade BD50 and I'm usually like, what's this one? BD20 or 30. So I don't even know why I got this. I think I used one of those foundation matching websites and it like told me to buy that shade and I didn't think about it and yep. <laughs> And then I have four of my most used foundation and I do use each shade. So I'm just going to keep each one. So yeah, there's them. I've got a tinted moisturizer in here. Well, a couple. I've got that Charlotte Tilbury one, which I want to try. And I've also got medium in the CC Plus by Ed Cosmetics, which I don't use very often because usually it's too dark, but it's good just to have. And that's why I just got a little small one anyway. A couple of cushions and a lining drop. So that's good. And I, once again, keep these little gel things and just chuck them in my makeup drawers just to soak up any excess moisture. Boom. How many words in that video? It must have been about 20,000 at least. So there's all the concealers, um, pot concealers and setting powders and powder foundation up here too. And then foundations. So that looks so much better. Here's another angle if you are curious. Nice and easy for me to see. This is the side I sit on to. So you can see how it looks from my angle. And then concealers up top. All there in a nice little row. They're not overlapping anymore. And I can see exactly what I need. I know what I have in here. How good's that? And then just as a teaser, the next declutter, we're going to go through all of these bronzers. I've got powder bronzers as well in here. And some setting powders that are all like over the place heaps more setting powders so I'll go through all of them next and show you guys my favorite ones too 
Um, so yeah, that'll be so much fun. I love bronzer. It's one of my favorite things ever. We might even go through the very bottom drawer too, which is a secret. So, and then if you are wondering, here's everything. Oh, that's actually very heavy. There's everything I got rid of. It's a decently thick layer of stuff. So yeah, some of that can be donated because some of it is new and then the rest will go to family and friends to go through. Um, so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up and I'll talk to you guys in my next one. Bye.